<laughs> what is up, Cog Squad? We got more dirt to move. What's up, guys? Jason over here at Cog Farming. Yes, there's something different about me. Uh, if you missed the last video, I did shave my beard. I feel like Mangum P.I. Got it? My ducks food. Oh, it's your ducks food. Oh, let's get the ducks first then. We'll come back and get the goats. Duck ducks. We're gonna get you guys in just a second. Don't worry. So Mary Cross baby ducks, or used to be baby ducks, are hanging out here in Tiffin Top's old place. I'm gonna feed these loud mouse here so we can get some peace and quiet. What's up, Meatball? We don't show Meatball much, but Meatball is a very friendly goose. We have no idea how old Meatball is. Can you reach it? I know it's down in there. Hey, you guys. I do have a little bit of sad news to report. Um, uh, we hadn't said anything really, but uh, Jet, the goose that was missing the bottom beak, he recently passed away. Uh, Jet was close to four years old. He was given to us because the feed store said he wasn't gonna make it. But he did make it and he lived a great four years. We're gonna miss Jet. We really don't like to post sad things. There's enough sad stuff in this world. And we like to, you know, post positive vibes and happy stuff and make people smile. And I just felt like that y'all needed to know that Jet did pass away. Okay, enough sad stuff. Let's feed these crazy goats. <laughs> it lands on our head and then it goes everywhere. I know, they're crazy. You wanna go check on your chickens? Yeah. Let's go check on your chickens. Now we have officially let the chickens out. Um, we did that last, yesterday. We actually did that yesterday. Come on out guys. That's a good bit mini of look at them. Yeah, they, uh, I want to say that 90% of them, and I'm just guessing, but 90% of them did go up. They want their scratch. And look at the eggs, Mary Crawl. Oh, they want their scratch this morning? Yeah. You doing all right, Thomas? Good deal. Go, go, go. This is the chicken that had the babies in the horse trailer. We got them in Ultimate Coop with Mr. Rod. And Rod's being a good stepdaddy. Righto! If the chicks get out and I grab one to put it back in, uh -huh. Go Go, she screams. <laughs> yeah, Go Go's a good mama. Yeah. Let's check on the mosaic chickens or chicks. Where's chicks? How are the mosaics doing? They're doing good. That's a cool neck and neck. Uh huh. And brown and white. It's here they come, the sweetest chickens. These neck and necks are so tame, y'all. I just can't. We are really loving this breed. I mean, look. They're just so tame. Well, that's a mosaic right there. Where's another mosaic? There they are behind me. Look at that. Yeah, that's the rooster, the dark one. And that lighter one's the hen. All right, I'm gonna leave the door open. It's kind of warm in here. Okay. You got it? Did you give him some mealworms? Goat loves them. Hill, but she I see that. <laughs> she loves to be petted. And again, a neck and neck. But man, those they so darn friendly and docile and lay a lot of eggs and are great free rangers. Yeah, they're great free rangers. All right, good deal. 
Let's go check on JP and company. JP and Sally. Woohoo! That girl. Check out my palm granite bush. Lots and lots of blooms on it. Yes. Goat said she just gonna get her own meal lines, ain't she? Yeah. Come on, goat. Crazy thing. Your baby's waiting on you. Y'all get back. JP! How is it hanging, JP? Make ours a dark brown egg over there. Yeah. See how big JP's booth, or how much bigger Pepper's booth is than JP. Alright, girls. Let me fill y'all's water up. They like more water. More than the other. See that. Today, try to get that topsoil moved out, and we will be finished. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. So the goats have been in here just about the whole month of March. Um, hadn't seen anything happen really, so I'm not a hundred percent sure something has happened in the goat pen. We may just can keep leaving them in there together. We don't have any babies or anything in there. They all get along fine. So honestly, there's really no sense of, there's really no real reason that we should separate them at this point. So we're gonna continue to leave these guys together until we know for sure we have prego goats. And when that's the case, we'll go ahead and separate them. I had this rosemary in our back yard in this pot and it kind of outgrew it pretty good. And then we kind of neglected it. So it had gotten really, 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 really leggy. So I'll cut it all back. We're gonna plant it here and kind of baby it. This is our little rosemary area right here. Peaches loves this area. She loves to roll around in this rosemary. And we think it's because it helps with uh, insects. It's kind of like off. Yeah. That's something we can think of, but she really does like the rosemary. So we're gonna plant this in here and hopefully it uh come on up. Pigs are really smart though. Pigs are super smart. There's like a scale on the smartest animals. And I think pigs in the top 10 easily. Pigs biggest downfall though is their urge to eat, their hunger drive. It overrides everything else. All right, got it planted. Oh, Scott. I hear you, Scott. While we got the shovel out and we're planting, I uh, got a rose that we're planting that was given to us from the market. It was uh, not looking too great. They thought they couldn't sell it. So they know us, they gave it to us. And we actually babied it and got it looking pretty darn good. And this was last year. So we're gonna plant it right here in this sunny spot, right next to our lantana and our Japanese rose. This is a proven winner variety called lemon zest. I'm no rose expert, so I really don't know much about roses. I know that we got a new dawn rose that's a climber that we absolutely love that's almost rose dummy proof. And that's about my extent of roses besides the ones we find wild growing on the side of the road that we'll take a little piece off of and plant on our property. And those do really great too. We're gonna plant this booger right here and I think I do pretty good right here in this full sun. Alrighty, one more thing done. So this is what we got going on with the new dirt. Yeah, as you know, in another video, Mrs. Cockhill spread this dirt out. I want to build this up where this black plastic is and maybe a little bit further back. And it's time to really, I really need to pull these shallots up and harvest those. So. Probably gonna do that today as well. I really need to plant squash, cucumbers, melons, pole beans. I know I got some other stuff, but they're talking about a pretty big storm system coming through tomorrow. Uh, I've seen predictions anywhere from two and a half to seven and a half inches of rain. 
and there's a pretty good tornado threat so I'm not going to do that right now I'm just not uh, I'm just scared if I do it it may wash my seeds away that I just planted so I'm gonna wait till that storm system's over with and then come back the next day or two and uh, start getting those seeds planted but I'll take you guys with us when we do that another thing is is we ran out of dirt kind of right in here so from here to here still need some more dirt we're gonna put some more out here still build this up we're gonna take this fence down too we're gonna take this fence down today hey you want to help me harvest some lettuce real quick but this stuff's handling the heat pretty good so we can take one of those if we want but definitely get some of this romaine up okay man I want. you want to grab maybe two heads of it we're gonna have spaghetti tonight can you get it there you go you think one or two oh probably two okay yeah. Beautiful though, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Since we're gonna eat it tonight, I'm gonna go and take the roots off. Get the roots off. You hold this one. Mm -hmm. Alright. You wanna put it on the meat bench? Yeah, we're going home right now, so we're gonna put them in the fridge. The uh, tomatoes? No, they're still fairly small okra is still fairly small we just got those in the ground not that long ago loving the drip irrigation as you can see the wet spots on the ground where the water's coming up i'm gonna pull one of these up mix it with that romaine we thoroughly have been enjoying this lettuce i've been eating it for lunch every day here comes my farm uber all right all right all right i figured we'd mix this in with it all right, good deal. Let's go put it in the fridge. Maybe we'll put it in low. Going up this hill. Put your foot on the brake. There you go. All right. Sun's getting pretty intense. I had to break out the big gun. And I know I'm gonna get asked, but honestly, I have no idea where I got this garden hat from. Zero idea. I like it though because it's so big and it really, really, really shades out the sun. So before we get started on this uh, dirt moving project, I do want to pull these shallots up. Shallots are, you know, of course, like in the onion family and I treat them like garlic. Uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't grown that many shallots in the past, but it's just how I kind of do it. I wait till the top start dying down a little bit. Uh, mine are starting to turn yellow. Not all of them are dying down that much, but they're getting pretty close. And I want to use this area for the spring summer garden. You want to treat them just like you would garlic. I'm going to harvest them, then they got a cure. Now, a lot of times what I've done in the past is, is I'll pull them up and leave them right here in the garden. And then in a few days, they'll have that, they'll cure and they'll have that paper, you know, like an onion. You can see with these, I pulled these up about three or four days ago and let them dry out. And you can see how it's got that papery skin on it now. And these are ready to roll. Now, big storm coming tomorrow. I kind of really don't want them to get rained on. So I'm just going to get them up and put them somewhere out of the weather and just let them dry out that way but you definitely want them to dry out and cure before you go ahead and store them now these guys will store a long time um uh, i you know we're gonna put them in a the fridge i've never grown this many before you can put them in a cool dark area and they'll do pretty well that way but this is central alabama guys there's no such thing as a cool dark area in central alabama it's gonna get hot and and they probably would do okay under the carport seriously they probably would do okay but i just don't know how long they would last that way so let's go ahead and harvest these scott let's go ahead and harvest these like scott said get this area ready to start moving that dirt all right we got that done got them pulled up yes sir that's a mess of shallots, a mess of shallots. 
and they're, they're cooking onions basically i mean you can eat them raw nothing wrong with eating them raw but for the most part they're really cooking onions all right my help has arrived come on gate The official boy, me and the gate don't want to jive right now. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this fence down, get this plastic out of the way, and start bringing some dirt in here into the garden area that we got now. And just try to make all this higher. We want it higher. But let's get this fence down and our prayer flags. I still get people asking me about the prayer flags of uh, people that people that have been following us for a while know that we have these here to ward off deer and chickens from flying into the garden just gives the illusion that our fence is a lot higher than what it is and it's got the movement we just think they look so darn cool i got these off amazon i found a really good deal on these it's a, a lot of uh footage for a pretty good price but I will put the link to this flag in down below so you guys can check it out. The official tractor driver of Cog Kill is here. And she's about to show this mound of dirt no mercy. I tell you what don't smell good. Mary Carl busted a rotten egg over there by the chicken coop. It was rough, wasn't it? I mean, like gagging rough. One of them duck eggs. We had the chance to meet you Call my eye and you held my stare I haven't broken it yet for over 50 years Thanks for letting me Mr. Kiel got a showing up supervisor up here watching it from Sky. Sky, Sky! Yeah, he thinks he thinks everything looks okay. Well, it looks way better. We needed that, that another load. Hope you don't need another one. I don't need another one. Good. I see it. Can you see where it's low? I see a spot right there. Yeah, right there. Maybe. Does it look low right here? Okay. I'm going to move, move a few scoops over there. And then I'm going to start blazing. Looks good, don't we, Carl? That's about where your flower garden's going to be. What you got in your hair? Oh, look. <laughs> hey, what are they? Carl. That, um... A hummingbird's gonna come get in your hay. I wish it would. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. What's that, a red honeysuckle? Mm -hmm. Temporary fence is up. Thank you for spreading my dirt. Bill! Bill! Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. Enjoying the new dirt. <laughs> Babies in here so they can uh, stretch their legs out. Show me how. Is that Blondie? Yeah. Like her back scratched. Oh, Blondie. <laughs> One thing's for sure. Them ducks ain't gonna outrun Sally. Look at them legs. Your eyes good. Sally, what'd uh, you find? Oh, she a worm. Said she didn't like it. I don't think it was a worm. I think it was a leaf. Oh, was it? Tony's. Tony's supervising, Annie. Tony watching over his women. Tony said he got a big job. His women are everywhere. Yeah. From corner to corner. Are you calling them? 
You got a double yoker? That's a big one. Yep, that's a big egg. It's probably a double yoker. Sometimes I have double yokers and sometimes I have that little bitty one. Mm. Yeah, that's a big egg. I got one of those the other day. <clears throat> it was a moron. Can you hold it? Yeah. That's Pepper's egg. Pepper lays a regular egg. Yeah. It's pretty good size. That's a moron. It's her egg. Mm -hmm. And that's um that Tobin's egg. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Look out, Sally. They don't lay that many eggs. Thomas, how many eggs it gonna be, buddy? How many? How many eggs it gonna be, Thomas? You think 47? Oh, the eggs. Harden them up. That's going to be a mess of eggs. All right. We'll see how many it is. Yeah, that's the double yoker. That one's not going to fit in the carton. Let's see if it does. We'll eat that ourselves. See? I'm going to eat it. Man. That's not going to fit at all. It's like the size of a duck egg. It's huge. I don't put it in bag. Okay. That's 36, 38, 40, 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47, Thomas was right. 48, 49 eggs a day. One from 50. That's a lot of eggs, girl. And if JP would have laid an egg, it would have made it 50. It would have been 50. 50 eggs. And this is Mary Carl's job. She does this every day. She cartons all the eggs up. 50 eggs. Oh, and okay. if they're dirty, she wipes them off. But otherwise, we don't, we don't uh, wash them. And they're usually not. Usually only like two or three are. For the most part, they're all pretty very clean. Yeah. And then she sells them for four dollars a dozen, and that is her money. I'm putting them in a bag. So we're fairly confident. We know that one on the left's a double yoker, but we're thinking these other two are doubles as well. But the, the carton wouldn't shut. No, so. they wouldn't fit in the carton. They're just too big. So when we eat breakfast in the morning, we'll find out. So your turkey's hatched. Show me what you got. Show me what all breeds you got. That you think. I think these are sweet grass, the little tan ones. Uh-huh. I think that's a Nargan to set back behind there. Okay. It's right there. Right there, now. that one. That one's either a midget white or a hollow white. Okay, cool. I don't know. And then, got these over here. Now these are I got some Americanas. Some Americanas in here or Easter Eggers. Americanas. Those Americanas? Yeah. That's what they said they were? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can tell the turkeys a little bit different then. See, that's a turkey. Yeah. The, all the black ones are turkeys, aren't they? Mm-hmm. It's Oprah. That's not a turkey. That's not a turkey. Oh, there's one little white, light turkey right there. Right there. Yeah. That's the one I said Freckles. His name's Freckles, mm -hmm. or her name's Freckles. Look at their little snooze. Yeah. And his thing getting but a few days old. And look at that little snooze. That's <laughs> so cool. So how many we got? How many? Point two, three, four. Uh, I think there's five. Five in that five. one. And then there's, I have to count them. Got to count them. Four, five, six. We got 12. Yep. 12 turkeys. Not including Thomas. <laughs> well, yeah, not including Thomas. Thomas doesn't think he's a turkey, I don't think. I don't know what he thinks he, he is. Thomas is special. He chicken turkey. <laughs> All right. And then also, JK Farm came and got the eggs. They hatched. All the quail hatched. And so JK Farm come and got all the quail. Uh, what, what you got in the incubator? Some chicken eggs that I got from a duck nest. Oh my, oh, that's a bunch of eggs in here. <laughs> Half of these white ones aren't gonna hatch because that Millie Flew or male is not good. Oh, he's not? He's kind of cuckoo. And then there's some goose eggs back there. I don't know if they're gonna hatch or not. And what are the brown ones? These are those chicken eggs I got from that duck nest. Oh, okay. They look pretty good though. Yeah, it does look pretty fertile. But I didn't want a duck running around with a bunch of chickens. Yeah, that would have been bad. She would have hatched them too. 
Yeah, and then she would be going in the water with them, mm -hmm. and the chicks would get in the water and drown. Yeah. I think Button is eyeballing your tadpoles. <laughs> I sure do. Button, have you got any mail? Button's got him a news. Has got him a mailbox on his. No, but his uh. His aquarium here. They can fly now. I sometimes come in here, and there'll be a turkey standing at the door. They're so nosy. Hey guys, check out this video I put over here. I think you may like it. Also, if you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit our subscribe button right over here and that bell notification button. That'll let you know when we upload a video, which is generally every third day. And if you're interested in any Cockhill Farm shirts, check out that link right down below me. As always, y'all be good.